His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today issued Edict Number 47 of 2024, amending certain provisions of Edict Number 40 of 2021, which outlines the commercial activities that foreign-owned companies are permitted to engage in. The edict was issued based on a proposal from the Minister of Industry and Commerce and following the approval of the Cabinet. Article 1, a new item number 378, is added to Table 5 of Edict 40 of 2021, specifying the commercial activities that foreign-owned companies are permitted to engage in as follows. Number 378, Activity Code 347736, Activity Description, Trading, Selling of Artwork Through Commercial Art Galleries. Article 2, the Minister of Industry and Commerce shall implement the provisions of this edict, which shall take effect the day after its publication in the official gazette. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today edict number 48 of 2024 appointing directors at the Ministry of Interior based on the proposal by the Minister of Interior. Article 1, the following shall be appointed as directors in the Ministry of Interior. Captain Yaqub Farid Al Muftah, Captain Mohammed Jassim Al Ghatam. Article 2, the Minister of Interior is responsible for assigning the appointed directors to vacant positions of the Ministry according to the rules to the roles and responsibilities of each department concerning considering their qualifications and experience. Article 3, the Minister of Interior shall implement the provisions of this edict, which shall take effect from the date of its issuance and will be published in the official gazette. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister today issued Edict Number 49 of 2024, appointing directors at the Electricity and Water Authority (EWA) based on a proposal by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs. Article 1: The following shall be appointed in the Electricity and Water Authority: Aqil Alawi Mahfouz Shabbar as the Director of the Electricity Planning and Projects Directorate; Wafa Ali Al Harmasi Al Hajri as the Director of the Purchasing and Supplies Directorate; Mahmoud Radi Ahmed Al Gmish as the Director of the General Services and Central Stores Directorate. Ahmed Najib Ahmed Al Jama as the Director of the Customer Service Directorate, Yusuf Samir Abdullah Al Khan as the Director of the Financial Resources and Services Directorate, Ani Salman Hbail Al Najjar as the Director of the Information System Directorate. Article 2 The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs shall implement the provisions of this edict, which shall come into effect from the date of its issuance and will be published in the official Gazette. The speech of the Kingdom of Bahrain delivered on behalf of His Majesty the King by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister before the general discussion of the United Nations General Assembly meetings embodied the Kingdom's firm vision towards issues of international security, cultural and economic pluralism. The speech also stressed the need to unify the efforts of the international community to preserve human dignity and work to deepen partnerships between countries and societies. Nineteen years ago, I had the honor of standing here and addressing this historic hall, where I touched on the pressing challenges confronting our world at the time. Poverty, famine, deadly infectious diseases, civil wars, and weapons of mass destruction. These global challenges not only persist, but have intensified. We find ourselves in a far more dangerous and unpredictable time due to major tectonic shifts in the global geopolitical order. The speech of the Kingdom of Bahrain during the general discussion of the meetings of the United Nations General Assembly in its 79th session carried many meanings. The speech referred to many international issues and contemporary global challenges, in addition to a roadmap for global security and stability, as well as the continuation of the joint march towards development and prosperity for the future of all peoples. This historic speech reflected national values and principles, especially with regards to the need to reform the United Nations and multilateral organizations, Unify the efforts of the international community to preserve human dignity, work to deepen partnerships between countries and societies, and move towards broader horizons of international cooperation to invest in innovations and modern technologies to serve development goals. In addition, revolutionary new technologies have emerged that will fundamentally reshape the world as we know it. Environmental and health challenges that know no borders have also multiplied 
and grown in complexity, requiring us all to work together, regardless of our differences. The Kingdom of Bahrain's speech at the United Nations is an explicit call for all countries to work together and cooperate for a better future for humanity. It is an affirmation that the Kingdom will continue under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to play a pivotal role in supporting international issues and enhancing dialogue between countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister deputized Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to attend the reception hosted by the Saudi Embassy in Bahrain in celebration of the 94th Saudi National Day. On arrival, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah was received by Tragedy Affairs Embassy of Saudi Arabia, Fahd Mohammed bin Nakhir, marking the occasion. The Deputy Premier emphasized the strength of Bahraini Saudi relations established on mutual visions of both countries' leaderships. He noted that these ties remain a pioneering model of of Arab solidarity, reflecting a common future and shared destiny. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah also stressed that Bahrain and Saudi Arabia enjoy an exceptional partnership based on strategic goals which go beyond the ordinary scope of bilateral relations. He firmed Bahrain's unwavering support for Saudi Arabia, recognizing its significant role as a global economic and political influence in promoting regional and international stability. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah underscored the growing economic and trade integration between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia in various sectors, expressing optimism that the two nations' economic visions of 2030 would yield positive outcomes for the region and its future generations. The Deputy Premier praised Saudi Arabia's transformative progress driven by a diverse, sustainable economy and forward-thinking leadership, which consolidated its position regionally and internationally.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended the ceremony of the third edition of El Bilad Award for Corporate Social Responsibility. The award is organized by El Bilad Media Corporation and was attended by dignitaries, ministers, and members of the business and civil society. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah emphasized the commitment of the Kingdom of Bahrain towards strengthening strategic partnerships between public and private sectors within the framework of efforts to develop sustainable development in line with the goals of the comprehensive development process led by his. Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. In this regard, the Deputy Prime Minister said that government seeks to achieve a balance between economic growth and environmental protection by encouraging corporate social responsibility initiatives. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah said that this balance aims at increasing the Kingdom's capacity to meet said challenges by contributing to reducing carbon emissions and adopting better business practices. This is in addition to providing quality opportunities for citizens and creating a competitive and attractive business environment for investments. Meanwhile, the Deputy Prime Minister lauded the initiatives of El Bilad newspaper, which is an important annual platform that promotes a culture of creativity and innovation in social responsibility among private sector organizations. He said the award drives the private sector to implement effective administrative policies that contribute to strengthening their societal role, not only through business, but by making a long-term positive impact on society and in Environment. The Deputy Prime Minister also praised the media and the Kingdom of Bahrain for having professional and ethical values towards individual and society. He valued their efforts in highlighting the success stories of leading companies in the field of social responsibility. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah presented the awards to the winners in the categories for Al Bilad Award for Corporate Social Responsibility. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed his wishes for all to success and his hopes that this award will be a motive for companies to expand the community benefits. For his part, the chairman of the El Bilad Media Corporation, Dr. Abdel Nabi Shala, said that the increasing numbers of participation in El Bilad Awards reflects its success in encouraging companies to highlight their efforts and programs for social responsibility and to point to the contributions of the private sector in achieving sustainable development goals.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdullah bin Rashid Zayani, attended the ceremony organized by Kuwait at the United Nations headquarters in New York under the patronage of the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, Hazan Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Sabah, on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the Istanbul Initiative aimed at enhancing regional security and stability, and on the sidelines of the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdullah Tlaib bin Rashid Zayani, attended the reception held by the permanent mission of the United Arab Emirates to the United Nations in New York under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, at the start of the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly. On this occasion, the Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed the depth of the close, long standing, and broadly relations between Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates and the developments at all levels, thanks to the generous patronage of His Majesty the King and the UAE President and the support and assistance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, as Zayani expressed his pride in the strong relations between the two countries, noting the keenness shown by the two countries to further elevate bilateral cooperation and joint coordination to serve the interests of the two badly countries and people to achieve their common aspirations and goals, wishing the UAE more progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdullah bin Rashid Zayani, participated in the meeting held by the Joint Arab Islamic Committee, chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Zionist Prince Faisal bin Farhan al Saud, with the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, which was held at the United Nations headquarters in New York. During the meeting, they discussed developments in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, the danger of the growing escalation in the region, Arab and international efforts aimed at reaching a permanent ceasefire, protecting civilians and civilian objects releasing hostages and detainees and facilitating the unhindered delivery of humanitarian aid to the civilian population in the Gaza Strip. They also discussed aspects of cooperation between the committee and the United Nations represented by the Security Council in matters related to the protection of international peace and security and joint coordination in collective endeavors aimed at prioritizing peaceful solutions to the settlement of conflicts and disputes in the Arab region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdullah Tlaib bin Rashid Zayani, participated in a joint ministerial meeting held in New York between Gulf foreign ministers and the U.S. on the sidelines of the 79th session of the UN General Assembly. The meeting discussed ways to promote cooperation and strategic partnership between GCC countries and the U.S. in various fields and to further develop joint coordination. The ministers reviewed regional and international developments and ways to intensify cooperation and joint coordination to address various challenges that threaten regional and international peace and security. The meeting also addressed developments in the region, developments in the war on the Gaza Strip, further escalation, Arab and international efforts at all levels to reach a permanent ceasefire, protect civilians and civilian objects, release hostages and detainees, facilitate the delivery of humanitarian and relief assistance to the civilian population and advance peace efforts in the Middle East. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdullah bin Rashid Zayani, met with the American Jewish Committee headed by the CEO of the committee, Ted Duch. The two sides discussed aspects of cooperation between Bahrain and the American Jewish Committee to promote regional peace, security and stability and to encourage the values of tolerance and human coexistence. They also exchanged views on the latest political and security developments in the region and on their effects on international peace and security. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Ahmedan, confirmed the completion of development of 20 services provided by the Ministry of Individuals to individuals and institutions within the framework of implementing the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop 500 services in 24 government agencies. Ahmedan explained that the Ministry is focusing on developing services across various sectors to streamline procedures, reduce the number of documents needed for completion by 50%, simplifying the process of providing 
providing electronic services to a maximum of four steps and reduce the time required for service completion by 25%. The government's program 2023 to 26 aims to enhancing the quality and customer experience of certain services by implementing 100% electronic transformation and improving the user interface. Maidan affirmed the government's unwavering commitment to simplifying the procedures to improve the quality and efficiency of government services, removing any obstacles that may hinder the smooth and easy access to all government services. Maidan noted that the ministry is continuously improving its services to ensure the best possible services for citizens and residents, focusing on the efficiency and quality while promoting sustainability, competitiveness and justice principles. The Minister of Social Development, Osama Lasfour, opened the first Gulf Youth Forum on Social Responsibility attended by the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi. Lasfour highlighted the important role of civil society institutions as key partners in national efforts, praising the community initiatives undertaken by this development sector. He said that the forum serves as a platform for constructive dialogue and the exchange of ideas on enhancing youth engagement in social responsibility, aiming to create opportunities for them to support support sustainability and social and economic development. The forum aims to promote the concept of social responsibility among youth, highlighting its indicators, developments and priorities and practices that contribute to sustainable development within a community partnership framework. The 33rd edition of the Bahrain International Music Festival will kick off on October the 1st and will continue until the 24th of the same month as Bahrain prepares to host one of its most important cultural seasons. The festival will offer a rich blend of local and international music featuring a range of Bahraini, Gulf, Arab and global performances. This unique celebration promises an exceptional experience combining the heritage of the past with the innovation of the present. The festival is expected to attract a large audience with diverse performances held at various cultural venues across Bahrain, allowing attendees to explore a wide array of musical styles. Bahrain announced the launch of the National Brief Summary page, the NSDP, in partnership with a number of relevant authorities in Bahrain and in cooperation with the International Monetary Fund. This comes in an effort to achieve greater transparency in presenting accurate financial data and statistics about Bahrain to enhance its position and excellence in the areas of governments and data dissemination. The NSDP for Bahrain aims to achieve transparency and maintain its continuous successes in various fields. The page developed through cooperation between Bahrain authorities and the International Monetary Fund enables decision makers to study all data related to the kingdom with high accuracy and objectivity. This enhances the kingdom's economic position and contributes to its ambitions and hopes. The Bahrain team seeks to strengthen and facilitate their efforts by presenting all economic and financial data about the kingdom to all interested parties. This project aims to enhance the kingdom's image and contribute to its continuous success.